So there is an election happening between Roy in, in what state is it? Alabama. Between Roy Moore and Doug Jones. And Doug, uh, Doug Jones is a he's another Democrat establishment moderate whatever the hell you want to call him but he's not a progressive at all he's just a guy that's running in, in a really right wing state and he's running as a he's running as a as a basically regular Democrat type guy and this is again this is for this is replacing Jeff Sessions who's currently the Attorney General for Donald Trump in the in the Trump administration so his repla his seat has to be replaced now and if Doug Jones gets it, that's basically going to be a plus. That's going to be an addition for the Democrats. And in this case, he he is... Um, so Doug Jones is going up against Roy Moore. And Roy Moore recently... Um, there was a lot of allegations that have been uh, lobbed against him of um, raping... Raping a, a young girl, I believe he was, what was he, 32, it says here. It says the Washington Post reported that uh, last week that a 50-year-old, 3-year-old woman accused Moore, Roy Moore of initiating sexual contact with her in 1970, 1979 when she was 14 and he was 32. And so she's basically accusing him of rape. Um, there was another allegation that came out. I think it was maybe the second or third. I've lost count. I think it's the second or third that came out today that said another person saying that Roy Moore raped them. This is a new accuser. It says Ray Moore, Roy Moore sexually assaulted her when she was a teenager, and he was the district attorney. Quote, I thought he was going to rape me, so she literally said it out, right out there. So, um, <clears throat> check this article out here. So I guess this is the second woman. So this is right here. This is another woman. So another woman has come forward to say that. So her name is Beverly Young Nelson, who is represented by Gloria Allred, which is, seems like all the women that are accusing people of raping women, women that are accusing men of raping them, are usually represented by Gloria Allred. Um, it says Nelson, who met Moore through her job as a waitress, could recall an incident in which Moore offered to give her a ride home in 1977, but instead of taking her home. She said he drove around the restaurant to a deserted area and assaulted her. I thought that he was going to rape me. Uh, she was 16 at the time. It says, after the struggle, Nelson said Moore let her go with a th threat. He looked at me and told me, you're just a child, he said. And I am the district attorney of Etowah County. And if you tell anyone about this, no one will ever believe you. Wow. Um... And then it says, the passenger door was still open as he burned rubber, pulling away, leaving me laying there on the cold concrete. So I basically, let's say, threw her out of the car. Okay, I was begging him to stop. She said I had tears running down my face. It says, Moore had been a regular customer at the restaurant. She was a waitress there. Where Nelson worked, she said, and he used to sit in the same seat night after night until the establishment closed, occasionally remarking on her appearance. One week prior to the incident, Nelson said, Moore left a note in a high school yearbook she had left on the counter. To a, more, to a sweeter, more beautiful girl, I could not say Merry Christmas, read the note. Wow. Which Moore had signed, Love Roy Moore DA. Okay. That's kind of creepy. But, um, yeah, so that's another person that has come out accusing him of that um so the the article that i originally wanted to point out so it says this is an article also from the hill it says 37 percent of alabama evangelicals more likely to vote from roy moore after the allegations so after the allegations of roy moore being you know being accused of raping a woman they would still support him regardless so that's crazy. 37, that's that's more than a third of Alabama voters. I don't even think that, that necessarily means Republicans or Democrats. That just means overall Alabama voters. Oh no, it says evangelicals. I'm sorry. It says 37% of evangelicals. So that's even worse. So all the people that go out there and claim, oh, I'm moral and I'm this and I'm that and I believe in the Bible and, you know, all this other stuff, but I'm going to go out there and I'm going to support a guy that raped another girl. Now, if a person that is not Christian goes out there and, you know, commits rape on something, it doesn't matter who it is, you can go Harvey Weinstein. Christians are going to go out there, how dare this man? You know, Harvey Weinstein, he's a rapist. You know, Bill Clinton, he's a rapist. 
You know, all these different people, they love to call everybody a rapist that is not Christian. But if you're Christian, apparently God forgives you. They know exactly what God is thinking. They already believe that God is going to come out there and, and you know, bestow upon you uh, what a wonderful person you are, even though you are being accused of rape. Again, these are accusations being lobbed, lobbed against, uh, uh, you know, uh, against Roy Moore. Now, we don't know if it's true or not, but, I mean, it's not like Republicans out there haven't been found... Haven't been, haven't been, you know, haven't been accused and rightly charged of rape. So it's not like it's some sort of, you know, it's some sort of uh, anomaly or anything. This is something that has happened before. You know, one of the one of the cases that I that I always remember the most is a Louisiana politician, Scott Desjardins. He actually, what was it, two thousand twelve? Scandals. I just want to read this here very quickly. Late in the 2012 election campaign, more events from Desjardins' personal life became public. Before that, a transcript of a recorded September 2000 phone conversation in which Desjardins pressured a mistress to get an abortion. Desjardins repeatedly denied him he himself had taped the conversation. Two weeks after Desjardins won the 2012 election, the Chattanooga Times Free Press obtained a full transcript of Desjardins' 2001 divorce proceedings. This part is really disgusting. It says the transcript revealed that Desjardins had admitted under oath to at least six sexual relationships with people he came in contact with while he was chief of staff at Grandview Medical Center in Jasper, Tennessee. He's a doctor. Among them were three co-workers, two patients, and a drug representative. Transcript also revealed that he and his former wife had had two abortions. And he actually forced these abortions to be done. He forced his wife to get the abortions. So the transcript also revealed that Desjardins had admitted under oath that he and his former wife had recorded the phone conversation with his mistress. And then the other part is that the woman that he, that he cheated on with, he, he actually forced that woman to get an abortion. So he forced a woman who he impregnated and you know who was you know was pregnant, he forced her to get an abortion. This is a guy that voted multiple times. Every single time he's voted, he's voted against allowing abortions to be illegal. Yet he goes out there and says, "Yeah, you know what? Um if you're going to, you know, if you're going to be you know, if you if you're going to have a kid uh, a baby of mine, I'm not going to let it happen." It's not going to happen. I'm not going to allow it to happen. So too bad. You better let, you know, you better abort that child as soon as possible. So he forced this poor woman to get an abortion, even though he impregnated her. And then he forced his own wife to, to have abortions multiple times. So it's complete hypocrisy. And a lot of it just, I mean, I can't say I'm really that surprised, but these are the kind of things that happen. And it just shows that evangelicals are complete hypocrites. Roy Moore and his supporters are complete hypocrites. If he's definitely guilty of these, of what, you know, of what this, these accusations that are being made, he's definitely a fucking scumbag. And a lot of Republicans, other Republicans out there are, you know, they've definitely shown them that, that, that they have that kind of track record too. So it's not surprising.